welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video so today i am actually back with another girl talk slash q a slash just a catch up really because i haven't done like a sit down catch up video in like months now i feel like i've just been so busy with holiday vlogs and like clothing hauls and all of that i just haven't really done a catch up in a while also i did a girl talk probably like a few months ago now and you guys literally messaged me saying how much you loved it so I wanted to basically do another one of these as well. So I mixed up a little catch up with a girl talk. I've just picked up a Starbucks because I went into town to pick up some bits and I've got a strawberry acai refresher. Don't know if that's how you say it, but that's what I'm gonna go for. Obviously all opinions are my own. I'm not like a therapist. I'm not a licensed person to be telling you what to do. Sometimes it's just nice to see what people do from their perspective. Before I do get into it, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel down below for more. I'm gonna jump straight into this video because I've put a poll up on my Instagram and I'm just gonna go through the questions and like advice tips that I got asked. Also follow me over my social media, so my Instagram and my TikTok because I do post lots of things over there. Without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight into the questions which I got from Instagram. So the first question I got is, how is 2024 treating you? And we're in July as I film this, like end of July. And to be fair, I would say this has been one of my better years. Like I've definitely picked myself up. Last year was not the one for me. And I feel like this year is going a lot better. I developed myself in work. And I also started up my editing business, which although it's very, very, very small right now, I just enjoy doing it. Like I love editing videos. So to do it for other people and see like my work go live on their channel is the best because I watch it and I'm like, oh my God, I edited that. I love it. Also, I've been on the most amazing holidays this year. I've just loved every second. I feel like this year's just been really, really great. 2024 is doing good. So hopefully, obviously I still have like a good five months left, but hopefully 2025 is gonna be even better. The next one is how are you doing? And these questions honestly melt my heart because it's not often like you even go to your friends or your family and be like, how are you doing? So when people ask me on like an Instagram poll question, I'm like, oh. um, yeah, I'm doing good. Just cruising at the minute. I feel like, I'm happy where I am like I've got good things going on I've been on like six million holidays like how could I not be happy I feel like there's always room for improvement that is my cri criticism I can't speak today that is my criticism that I feel like there's always more I could be doing or more I can do for myself I feel like I'm all right I'm happy where I am I just want to cruise keep doing what I'm doing like I'm happy I'm building my YouTube slowly. Next question is probably going to be one of my favorite ones any more trips coming up I'm obsessed with your travel vlogs ty thank you so much because i genuinely adore filming my travel vlogs i love editing them and i love watching them back because i can literally watch my whole holiday back and reminisce it's just great if you haven't watched already this year i went on a cruise so you can check out my vlogs from i think it was may or early june i posted them there's a free park cruise vlog so good then I also went to Corfu last month, so you can check out that. Obviously I have loads of travel vlogs from last year. So I had Milan, I had Greece. Can't remember the others. I have a lot of travel vlogs going on and I didn't used to like doing them because I used to be way too nervous to like vlog in public, but especially when you're abroad, like no one knows you. So I just wing it and I love vlogging when I go abroad. Next trip I have coming up is to Mallorca. So I'm going there with my sister in September. So that'd be a little cute girly sister holiday. So I will try and vlog that one and we'll see. Next year I'm going back to Rose again to a different resort, but like we've got a swim up pool and everything like that is gonna be so good. Hopefully in 2026, I'm gonna be going to New York. So that's gonna be the best vlog ever. Next question is how to deal with a breakup. So I'm quite lucky in the fact that I've been with my boyfriend for like six and a half years now. Like I haven't had to deal with a breakup in a long while. The last breakup I would have had to deal with was in school. So it's not quite the same. I can't tell you from personal experience, but I would just say, be true to yourself. Let yourself have the feelings, like let yourself reminisce in it. And eventually you'll start to move on. Like if it's a bad ending of a relationship, like block them off everything, just so you can't be reminded of it. And if it's something that like you're gonna stay friends and obviously don't block them, but do what you need to do to get over it. Like don't worry about what the other person's thinking or what other people think about what's happened. Like you do you. The next question is what's the best holiday you've ever been on? My top favorite holiday I've ever been on. I'll do my top three. In third place, I would probably say the cruise. I've been on quite a few cruises. So I'd say just cruising in general of the previous ones I've been on. I always go on Royal Caribbean ships. So they're like full of fun. They have so many activities like ice skating, 
all the kids clubs from when I was younger like it was just so fun and then obviously you get to get up and go to different places every day and I used to make friends it was just so good for like my, when I was younger I would say number three is just cruising in general because I went a lot with my family when I was younger number two I would say Miami I went to Miami for my sister's 21st so like a good four or five years ago now and we flew to Miami with my family and then we went on a cruise around like the Caribbean that was like the second best holiday just because I love everything America that's the first time I ever went and I'm literally obsessed I really 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 want to go back number one would have to be when I went to Dominican Republic I'm literally gutted that I was like on a break from YouTube at that time because that would have been such a good vlog for you I really wish I could watch it back as well Dominican Republic was literally insane the hotel I stayed at was beautiful like endless supplies like endless fun like the beaches were stunning and I really do want to go back, but it is just quite expensive, especially for like two weeks. That holiday was the best. Like I'll leave some photos on the screen of what it was like. It was just so stunning. Like I had the best time ever and I got to swim with dolphins there and that's like a core memory in my brain. The next question I'm just gonna skip because this one's related. So this one says, can you be my holiday planner? Heart eyes. How do you find such nice places to go? um i'm such like a holiday snob i search for hours and hours and days and days like i'll make lists of all the hotels i like me and ryan will go through them all and see what we like we won't like any of them and then i'll go through it all over again and then when we finally rule it down to like free we watch videos of it we like tours and i don't really spend my money elsewhere but when i work so hard throughout the year to earn money make a savings pot i want to spend a certain amount on a really nice holiday so don't get me wrong it's not all about the nice things it is just about the memories nothing has to be perfect i just like if i'm spending my money that's what i want to save for instead of other things but yeah it's just my personal preference people always comment on my tiktoks etc asking like where i book my holidays i pretty much always go through tui i am a package holiday girly through and through so jet two and tui maybe easy jet holidays are the one I find that they're cheaper and they have good deals and i always like book it when there's a sale on i'm not stupid the next one is are you happy with your new car or are you looking to get a different one so if you saw my video probably a few months ago now i got a new car so this little baby here it's a audi a1 tfsi sportsback i don't know what any of that means it's basically an audi a1 with four doors i am so happy with it like i absolutely love it going from a fiat 500 to this i feel like is so different it's a lot bigger like it's got the smart digital screens and it just moves a lot smoother like it's got the different sports modes i just absolutely adore her she's beautiful i love her she's called aria the audi yeah i wouldn't get a new car for at least a good few years i think the only thing that i want more that i don't have is maybe an automatic but honestly i don't drive enough to not planning to change anytime soon like it's four door like if and when i ever have kids they can sit in the back right there and we can film videos together the next question is who is your favorite youtuber so i've been watching youtube for years now like since i was in like year seven year eight i just used to love watching youtube and i still do people i grew up watching obviously anastasia and saffron all of that i don't really watch them as much anymore but i watch like david girls i don't know i just love their family and i watch like imogen croup there's also a girl who vlogs in america i can't remember her name but all like the american vloggers i love watching vlog channels at the minute the next question is what's on your bucket list so i do have quite a few things on my bucket list but also i don't like a lot of people want to like go travel the world and do this and that and that skydive and all that nah, nah, nah just really 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 want to go to new york so that is why me and ryan decided to go to new york probably next year or the year after it's just something i've always 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 wanted to do and genuinely it makes me well up thinking about it because i'm so excited to go to new york at christmas like honestly look at me it's actually a bit also want to travel a bit of america a bit more like i want to go and see florida i want to go and see like texas all of them places the next one is how to deal with being cheated on so First of all, I'm actually really sorry because I've never been cheated on, so I can't give you true advice, but I know how horrible it is. I like I know people have gone through it and it's really, really horrible. And I think the worst thing is just feeling like you're not good enough. Like it's a horrible feeling and honestly my heart goes out to you. Just like dealing with the breakup, just give yourself time. With the person who cheated on you, just block him because if he cheated on you, he was not thinking about you. And you wanna be first priority, always sister, period. You'll be so much better off about him. You won't think it. But over time you'll think what on earth like why did i do this take the time and rejuvenate the next one is how can i get out of a toxic friendship group brackets i don't like confrontation 
you are me i hate confrontation it's not a vibe i would avoid it at all costs if you have a toxic friendship group and you want to get out of it honestly don't think too much about it just slowly start to like distance yourself and then eventually just fizzle out is that's one option or just say straight up like i don't think i'm gonna be friends with you anymore i think you'll be all right just to say like say your reasons like it actually might be something that they didn't realize that they were doing and you could actually sort it out so i would say just talk to them first before you just like ignore them or ghost them the next question is what age do you want to have kids um i feel like everyone had like an age in their head when they were in school like oh i want to have this this and this by the time i'm 23 and it's like so unrealistic like growing up now i'm nowhere near to doing stuff like that i feel like i don't ideally want to have kids until i moved out um so that's gonna be like another two three years i don't really know but not anytime soon hopefully within like maybe like five years or so I'm not really sure but i would like to have them one day the next one is you always seem so positive and happy what's your tricks um i mean you only see one percent of my life on camera like there's so much that goes on behind the scenes everyone is not always positive and happy unless you're literally like gifted you see this is something i enjoy doing so every time i do film a video i'm like really happy to be filming a video it's something that makes me happy so i'm always going to seem really happy and positive which is a good thing i guess for you guys everyone's life's a roller coaster so you just gotta not judge what you see online like everyone even like all these famous influencers they all have bad things in their life let's be real the next one is more of an advice one it says i feel like i'm so behind all my friends brackets i'm 24 and feel like they are all ahead of me in life so this kind of relates to the age question and kids question that i had i feel like don't compare yourself to other people some people just have their life together some people are getting there people want different things out of life so don't compare yourself honestly just do what whatever pace you're happy with the next question is what's your top life lessons um I don't really have any life lessons i would say one just be yourself two like you're your own best friend you can't rely on everyone else to be everything for you like you are your own best friend you gotta be there for yourself spend money because money returns but memories don't that the, what's that whatever that saying is i don't really know but i like it it doesn't mean like sprinkle your money and have no money but spend enough money to make enough memories basically someone said tips for recording travel content and to be honest i don't really have any tips because i don't really use the full like vlogging camera and everything like i don't have a full setup yet because i'm just keeping it casual we're like filming on a phone on 4k mode and that is that i would say when you go abroad just take a tripod and like a portable light like this and you can sort of take that round with you i've literally got a tripod probably about this big and it's like it's sat on my dashboard right now and you can like hold it as well so just a mini tripod and then whatever you film on when you're traveling i don't feel like you need the big microphone set up the big like light set up honestly just even if it's so busy you can't film don't worry about it like even just try and do like a little montage on your phone like you don't have to vlog don't worry about vlogging every single thing like especially if you're doing like a week-long vlog you don't want to vlog every single thing so even if you film four days out of seven like you're still giving good travel content it's just not every single second but every single day i'm gonna use this one as the last one because there is way too many here so the last one is any further holiday plans and genuinely how are you doing my girl sending you so much love thank you sending you love too i mentioned it earlier but holiday plans i'm going to Mallorca in september with my sister next year i'm going to Rhodes, and then hopefully the holiday after that is new york hopefully and i'm doing very well thank you it's currently sunday it's nice and sunny and who can beat that it's like 23 degrees and i'm currently sat in the car with my refresher so cheers to that uh, that is all the questions i'm going to go through today because i wasn't going to be here hours and hours i hope you like this video if you haven't already make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel down below for more also follow me on my social media we can keep an eye on what i'm doing there and also like participate in some videos i'm hoping to do some more like engaging videos soon if you did make it this far thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye.